Okay, so we're late summer here and I'm having problems with wasps getting around my bird feeders and keeping the birds from accessing their feed, particularly the Orioles. They're supposed to be drinking out of this cup right here, which has grape jelly in it. And you'll notice there are a bunch of yellow jackets around it. So in this video, we're going to compare two things that are designed to kill yellow jackets. These are my yellow jacket traps here and I'm testing different formulas out but that's not what we're going to use. We're going to use the Bug Assault 2 and we're going to compare it to the Electo Electric Fly Swatter. We're going to see which one is most effective. Here is the Bug Assault 2. If you haven't seen my video about the Bug Assault gun, please check that out. We go into great detail. I've had three of these now. I wear them out and this little salt opening here at the top tends to break off and wear out first. But we're going to compare this. We're going to see what it kills besides flies. We get a lot of questions. Will this thing kill wasps and yellow jackets also? Or is it just for flies? Well, we're going to prove that out. Here are the flies. They're dining on some sugar crystals here. And we're going to blast them with the bug assault too. After we do that, we're going to test it out on yellow jackets all the way up to point blank range. So yes, apparently it does kill flies. Let's see if it kills the yellow jackets.
Okay, so I guess we proved pretty thoroughly that with the Bug Assault 2, which is the strongest Bug Assault gun, the best you're going to do is damage the wings of some of those Yellow Jackets, but we're definitely not going to kill them. So what we're looking at here is an Electric Fly Swatter. This comes in two sizes. This is the largest one Electo makes, and we bought it on Amazon. And the link for it is down in the description below. It comes with batteries and it's ready to go. We're going to go over the details. It says it's difficult to zap flies unless you have good skill for swing. Well, practice your backhand. A good hunter is waiting for it to land on a flat surface and you just need to cover it slowly. You can do that with a bug on the wall, for example. Fruit flies? Who cares about fruit flies? We're after bigger stuff today. And uh, there's a warranty. It comes with a one-year warranty. Apparently, if you log in online, you can get a two-year warranty for free. So 100% money back. I like what it says here in the features. It says uh, neatly and rapidly without causing irritation to the user, you can kill things. Bugs will never be a menace again, so forget about bug bites. And uh, any bug attacking you and your family, it will kill. It's a normal condition if you hear a high frequency sound because it provides a high voltage current. Keep out of reach of children. I agree with that. You touch this thing with your fingers and you're going to get zapped. It feels like somebody poured hot water on you and pinched you at the same time. Pretty substantial. So here it is. Um, it's a one piece thing, nice and clean. A little stronger than what they used to make. This is carbon steel. And of course the uh, wires going across here are uh, positive and negative alternating. So when something touches both, it gets zapped and the AA batteries are uh, more than enough for it. And uh, we're going to go outside and we're going to test it. I'm just showing you the details here. It is thin enough so that you can lay it right on the wall. If you've got a spider or something and you want to kill it inside, you can just lay it over the top of it, hit the button, and it's going to zap it and at the very, very least stun it so that it falls to the floor and you can clean it up and throw it away. So it's pretty well made. I think better than some of the past units. Here's the thumb button here on the side of the handle. While you have the button depressed, it will be electrified and ready to zap something. And when you don't have the button button depressed, it won't be. The AA batteries we're going to put inside here. They did come with some wear and tear on them, but the charge was full. So there's also a little lanyard that goes in the bottom of the handle here, and you can put that around your wrist so you don't drop it. Push the button, the indicator light comes on. When this light comes on, it's ready to shock things. Don't give this to kids. They're going to shock each other. And here I am testing it out, snapping some yellow jackets. And... Uh, it's pretty clean. Snaps them right down. It's a lot of fun actually, I have to be honest. Picked one up here and it's still alive. It's just stunned. And you can see its mouth moving there. So uh, it doesn't necessarily kill them, but it definitely zaps them and drops them out of the air. And uh, you notice when it's laying on the grid here, it didn't give a dramatic pop really, but it did seize up. You can see that he contracted right away. And uh, you see a little arcing and sparking there. And so if you did this at night, you're going to see little flashes of light, obviously, when you hit mosquitoes or whatever you're going to test out. But one thing we're proving here for sure, it's going to kill wasps. So out here again, and trying to take out a few more. And the problem I had was finding them after I hit them. You zap them, they go to the ground, give a little back in there. Oh, there one stuck right on the racket. I'll show you that up close. And there it is. And while it's on the course, there it is. When you push the button, you can see it seizes up and its stinger extends all the way out. So be careful there too. You can be stung by a dead wasp. And I just laid it on the way the instructions say to see if it would zap something there. Here we have another uh, yellow jacket right on the grid. Notice it's touching at least two of those strands and there it seizes up. Not that dramatic, but it certainly does kill them. So there you go. Pick it up here again. The stinger is fully extended. If you touch your finger on a stinger, even of a dead wasp, as I mentioned before, you can be zapped. Look at the stingers extended on these two here. They're both dead and of course, I found out that yellow jackets are kind of decoys. Live yellow jackets come to check them out to see what they're eating. And you can zap those too. Now, does this uh, electric racket zapper work better than traps? Not really, but it's a lot more fun. This is a honeybee here on the clover. Don't zap honeybees. They're different than wasps. They are fuzzy and they're busy pollinating flowers. 
and they don't come after you and they don't chase off your birds the way yellow jackets do. So protect honeybees, kill the yellow jackets. And of course here's a fly. There's a saying that uh, one fly walking across you is dirtier than a thousand cockroaches and you can believe it. So go ahead and hit those flies with your bug assault too. When it comes to uh, yellow jackets, I recommend this electric racket. Go ahead and get one. Thanks for watching.